Good morning, good morning. Hey there, YouTube fam. It's William Cody. We are at the crash site where Daniel Robinson's vehicle was located. And it's early in the morning. We got out here to beat the heat. Look, guys. There's the orange flag that marks the spot where his vehicle went in. And here are tire tread marks going in digging you see them these are tire that dig marks going all the way in turning smashing and look guys this is the glass from Daniel Robinson's Jeep 2017 Jeep So the dogs aren't really hitting on anything around here. This is the exact wash. Daniel Robinson's vehicle was left. And to be honest, guys, if someone was in that Jeep and they went and did this turn and did this flip and smash and landed right here, I'd imagine they'd be pretty injured. Um, by the pictures of the windshield of the Jeep, um, it looks like someone's head smashed into the windshield. You can see that prominent smash mark where it looks like, you know, in car accidents when somebody goes up into the windshield. I mean, if he's going fast around this corner, you know, remember he only had one arm on his left hand. So he's turning and coming through this corner. And it seems like he didn't make the turn, went sideways and flipped and smashed right here. But this is the exact spot. Man, it's weird. I came out here to get the feel of the land, the feel of the exact crash spot. And, it, you know, it all helps with the investigation. So where would he have gone from here? Middle of June, blazing hot out. His clothes were found right up here. You know, like they were either placed or piled up there cell phone um everything still he just left everything and supposedly went off into the desert i mean if he had a head injury this is going down a little valley right here i'm thinking i don't know if you're not feeling good that kind of looks like a good place to go like you'd think to go down valley or maybe he thought there was water or river down there or something creek maybe i mean he knew the area so to be in a state of mind, maybe he knew of a place where he could get water or where someone would be, where he could, um, I don't know, I'm just trying to get the feel of this place. But it's it's wild. We're trying to get here before the wind, and the wind's starting to pick up. But, um, yeah, we're here. So I'm going to show you all around. We're going to walk up the slough a little bit. I see some stuff up here. So again, the reason why we came here at this time is before all these plants bloom super thick. Like they've already started, as you can see, to bloom. And it's got Nipsey's allergies going haywire. She might have some kennel cough or something. She's been coughing like crazy. But look, what's this red? Like red plastic. Well, this is weird. This is the spot. I mean, guys, we're way out here. Like for him... To drive his vehicle way over here and then the crash into like I don't see where he could have possibly been going. I mean this is like four wheeler road after four wheeler road. Look, more red material. It's like plastic. Some sort of old plastic. But when you look back, so you see up, this is the road he came around this corner and went off right there and wrecked, right? Right over there. I'm trying to hold the camera up so y'all can see better. It's just, it's crazy. Can't believe we're here at the spot. So while the winds died down, we're gonna walk up top.
There's more of that red plastic material. Wonder what that's from. Okay guys, I'm starting to cut my hand over the speaker to try to block that loud blast wind sound. So, maybe one day if I get enough likes and subscribe, I can actually buy real equipment with a lapel mic. That would be cool. <laughs> Put it on my Christmas list. Anyhow, not to take away from the situation, I gotta try to make light somehow in these dark times. But So this is the road that you would have came in on. And he came down this, well, he came from the other way. But, it's just, look guys, it's just empty country. As far as the eye can see. Strange that he'd be out here. I mean, there's like... Nothing but empty draws and washes. I mean, there's nowhere to go out here. There's no, like, it's like dead-end road. So, what is the point of coming over here? You know, did he meet nefarious means and someone tried to dump this vehicle and that's what's going on? I just find it odd that it's only a couple miles away from his work site. You know, and his co-worker said... He was acting strange. You know, all we have is that co-worker story. Is he a viable, you know, person to believe? But again, there's that stump with the red-orange flag. There's the dogs. Say good morning, girls. Nipsey's got a cough this morning. I don't know if she's getting kennel cough or what, or this dust and allergies. But... Coming down here, his vehicle went off right there. You can see the trail marks, trail marks. Smash. And there again is the glass. So I just wanted to take a video from the actual crash site. Now we're gonna go from here and I'm just, for some reason, I feel like instead of going up, if you had a head injury in the summertime, going down this way towards like shade, like down in this bottom is a dried up creek bed, a river bed of some sort. So there's more shade down there. Maybe he thought he could get to some water. Um, you know, and the clothes on the ground could have been, he could have changed into like, you know, lighter clothes. Like maybe he had shorts and a, a tank top. And he changed out of his long pants and long shirt. You know, I've learned in this desert in the morning, you got to have your warm clothes on. And then you, at the, in the day when it's blazing hot, you know, the, the temperature change goes from like 25, 30 degrees at night to like 90 degrees in the day. It's insane. So I can picture him like having warm clothes on in the morning. And it, say he had a crash, a, a head injury, and he's feeling hot. You know, maybe he change out of his warm clothes into his clothes that he could hike out of here with and he's not feeling well see the glass right there the canyon goes up this is the four-wheeler trail and this is a valley going down i'm you know i know they put ten thousand man hours into this place but there is just so much country in so many places and if they did it in the summertime when it's blazing hot it's hard to, you know, say that you cleared an area without, you know, I mean, it takes a ton of energy. So we're here when it's cool out. Um, there's not much we can see underneath the, all these, you know, all these plants are just starting to bud. So we can see underneath them, which is with the advantage that we have now as opposed to the previous search teams. So we're going to get at it hard here. I just wanted to show you the actual crash site. We're going from ground zero. And we're going to go out from here and begin our search. And we're going to do a radar search, circle this whole area all the way out. And uh, we got several days to do it. But I was just looking for any evidence that was missed. There's a bunch of glass down in this wash. I don't know if you see it. That's glass from Daniel Robinson's Jeep. 2017 Jeep. 
and the forensics are still being done right now on that Jeep by the private investigator and Daniel's father. So, and here's the actual crash site. Man, it just feels weird to be here. But that is the glass from Daniel's vehicle. So, hopefully we can get Daniel's energy being here and he'll reveal himself and we can bring some closure to Daniel's family. Ah, <sighs> sure, that would sure be cool. And there's the stump that's in the police photo where my bag is next to. This is that stump, the famous stump that David didn't see when the... Uh, Buckeye police officers came and they actually told him a wrong the wrong wash and it took him a while but Nipsey's actually laying by Nipsey's feeling better now she had a bad cough earlier I think she's getting a little kennel cough or some sort of desert cough so I gave her a little bit of antibiotics so but thanks for watching please hit that like and subscribe we're out here in the Sonora Desert out here in the middle of nowhere and uh, sure is beautiful country, but it's tough. And we're trying to get out here this morning before the rattlesnakes wake up. In the middle of the day, the rattlesnakes come out. So I can see their little holes all over the place. So we're going to be super careful around here. And uh, stay tuned. If I run into anything, I'll let you know. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Say bye, Nips. Say bye.